Welcome back to Crunchcast, the high octane podcast where we review cereal and other country foods. I'm Ryan. I'm Graham. I'm Harrison. And I'm Alex. Today we are trying out the uh, last kind of ish uh, oh. <laughs> Halloween cereal, Boo Berry. The last one that's still being made, at least. Yes, the last one to come out that's still being made. Mm-hmm. It um, it came out in like 75 or something? Uh, I'll have to check it I'll later. I'll check real quick. Okay, you cool. do the introductions. Read so, the, you have to read the nutrition blueberry. facts. Blueberry. Blueberry. Did we used to read the nutrition facts? Yes, we did. You got it. Um, so let's go. Blueberry. With one half cup of skim milk is 200 calories. On its own, a serving is 160 calories. There is whole grain corn, corn meal, sugar, corn syrup, dextrose, canola oil, modified corn starch, salt, gelatin, trisodium phosphate. Okay, let's just go. Why does it have red 40 in it? Uh, it's a little bit purple, so I guess it makes sense. Blueberry Ooh. came out in 1973. Yes, like four months before Fruit Brute, which is the next one. Fruit Brute was 1974. The dual of Yummy Mummy. Yes. Was the nice like 80. In 92. I think it was 88. Yeah, on it. Yummy Mummy or Frankenberry was 1971. Chocula 1971. Yummy Mummy was discontinued in 1992, introduced 1988. That's fun, okay. So, speaking of Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy, we bought them. Yes, we, we have, have them. two boxes on a shelf. They are on the shelf, sitting, waiting for their time. They are seven... Next week. Seven, mm, next week. Seven-year-old yes. boxes of cereal. The season finale, where we will not only be eating two... Super difficult to find, not super difficult, but hard to find cereals. But also, we will be making a tier list and revisiting our old fruit uh, cereal rankings. Yes. This will be, um, since it's the Halloween episode, we thought maybe coming out with it later in the day. Instead, of, because we are recording it on the day of Halloween. No. Or earlier. I'm thinking we might be able to come out with it on, like, I'd say, like, 7 o'clock. Instead of having it at 6, I mean, 8, eight in the morning. Because, I mean, it's Halloween. We gotta do Halloween. No. With this not happening again, you were... Do stupid. not spill it. You don't even get any marshmallows. Yeah, I do. That's a well, punishment. I got, I got... Plenty. Barely. Well, Barely. We, we should, we should do, we should add, like, another ranking smell. Uh... Anyway, so yes, this is the season finale. What does that mean? I'll, I'll pull Well, there's still chocolate coke chocolate. This isn't the, this isn't the uh, season finale. Or the next one will be the season yeah, finale. And what does that mean for the show? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. It changes um, nothing other than we're actually going to finally redo maybe, our score system. We we're might, we a might, one week break. Yeah, we're going to take like a one week break, even though we already took like a six month break. This is going to be the shortest of the seasons, and it's kind of crap, so that's fun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, do not hold the milk like do that. Do not hold the milk like that. I can't. There's nowhere to rest it. It was. It move was the book out of Move the book. Well, I can't. I'm holding the milk. Oh, do we do? Do we do dry? I I taste dry. So I, I have tasted taste dry. I've tasted dry. Okay. I have a little bit left of the current chocolate and Frankenberry. <laughs> Some people. <laughs> so at the end of this episode, we can compare them and really tell if we prefer, yeah. which one we prefer. Some people uh, do not hmm. like cereal with milk. I used to not like it. So it's important that we do rank it dry, with dry taste in mind as yes. well. A um, cereal should not rely on the wonderful drink that is milk. Makes your bones yes. strong. Uh, makes your bones strong, exactly, Alex. I disagree. Good job, child. Disagree that milk is wonderful? No, I, I disagree that cereal should have to hold its own without milk. Uh, it, it's a debate of the century. Well, it's been argued since Plato so, and Aristotle were around. Some of, some of my favorite cereals are not good with milk. Count Chocula was kind of sad without milk. Mm-hmm. But it was amazing with milk. Yes. Also, but the dry score definitely should not affect it as much as the milk score. Yes. So, last 
last week we started the thing of having the texture and taste score not affect our final score. No, taste was definitely still there. Well, Design. we decided to rate those and then rate it overall, our opinion rather oh, than Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so that's fun. This is my, this is, if I, I think this is my favorite of the three that I've tried. Mm-hmm. You gotta say the marshmallows are extremely good. Mm-hmm. They have the most flavor out of all, all the other monster yeah, cereals. Like the right balance oh, for sure. It, except we don't know the mm-hmm. fancy ones. Yeah, the right that we spent like forty dollars. I on. think the first time I had, I think the first time I had the monster cereals was two thousand eleven, and it was Booberry, the first one I had. The only one I've ever had before this was Count Chocula. So have you tried those before, Graham? No, I, I saw them on. The, actually, I didn't see them on shelf because collectors bought them out before I was able to get them because I was only like mm-hmm. eight. Yeah. No, seven. I was seven. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Fruit Fruit and Yummy, yummy Mummy, I guess, they were just brought back for nostalgia or something, because they were discontinued immediately. They were brought back for nostalgia in 2013, along with the retro versions of all the boxes of cereal. But they also did still sell modern versions of all of them, including Yummy Mummy and Fruit Fruit. Yeah. Oh, there's a list of breakfast cereal advertising characters on Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, today, we didn't really have much of a plan for what to talk about, but we did know one thing. Harrison, would you like to explain? Okay, I got one, one thing to say before that. We're gonna, we're really building up to this. But <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing special. It I makes me sad you. that they haven't come out with a monster cereal commercial since 2002. No commercials. Online campaigns, yes. No commercials. No commercials. I think that's a crime. Harrison, you may speak. <laughs> it's time. He was just choking over here. <coughs> trying to... <laughs> trying to snarf it all down. Alright. So, last episode, I was going to go over Arthur... In the mini boys. You got most of the plot, but not all of it. And it was no, very I, I, inco- I didn't even get like 30 minutes. It yet. was like very incoherent. <laughs> so, in the beginning, I think the kid's living with his mother or his grandmother. Might be mother. But, um. Keep what? Going, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to signal with hand signs so that you don't have to stop talking. <laughs> um. So. In the beginning, he's with his mother, and so this plumber or electrician or something comes there after his birthday, um, and takes his new baseball and throws it into a water tank. Mm-hmm. So after this, um, God, it's been so long since I've watched this movie, but like Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Harrison. We're just whispering about pouring <laughs> cereal. Oh. I'm good. What is going on? He's just getting just more keep cereal. Going. Just, just keep going, going man. <laughs> That's what's happening. Oh, not enough milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm getting the plot completely right, like the timeline. But he has this book, and he starts like noticing these like, like these like. Letters on the wall. Letters. Walls. Like, not like singular letters, but like little messages on the wall. And they lead him to some place. And I'm pretty, it's like a telescope thing. And then somehow his mom's door gets knocked down. Oh, I thought you said he did that. I don't, I don't remember. Knocked him off the hinges? Yeah. Wasn't his grandma? I don't. I, it's been I'm just so like, long since I've seen this movie. To be honest, oh, I'm pretty I, sure it's, it's I haven't mild. seen it since like 2010. Can I, so can it's I just fine. say something? What? I just now looked it up and saw the. Yeah, I've, I've the seen cover. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Up until now, I thought you were talking about Arthur the Aardvark. <laughs> no, it's Arthur the Aardvark? Was... No, I mean Arthur the Show? I thought it was like one of the special movies. I was like, they haven't released Arthur. 
Okay, it is, it is grandma. It is grandma. It is grandma. Okay. Mm. Wait a second. Okay, quick question. How do you know this as the Mini Moys? Because in America, it's Arthur and the Invisibles. It was only known as Mini Moys in France. <laughs> That's the French name. What the heck? How do I, I wouldn't know. But they're called the Mini Moys in the movie. Mm -hmm. The little people. So, um. You have to. Did you have like a French copy of like this illegal VHS that someone just like illegally brought overseas? I, I, I'm, I'm reading a, I'm reading the plot right now to like refresh myself on it. Okay, um, so it wasn't an electrician or a plumber. It was a guy coming to destroy the house mm. because it was getting um, sold or something like that, getting destroyed for to build new property. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's. It was a story from his grandma or something that grandpa that led him to the telescope, which um, whenever he placed into a certain place after outside after driving his grandma's car and running it into like a gnome or something, um, the like a bunch of these Indian people just not Indian but like Native American. Well, I I don't know. Um, I have entirely lost track. I'm just concentrating on the steel. <laughs> Come out of nowhere and start like talking to him in some crap. So he looks inside of the telescope. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's like listening to the ramblings of an insane person. <laughs> Why are you so adamant this? that everyone must know about this? Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Your, his, his only dream is to, is to have some <laughs> random person in the comments be like, I remember this movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm only going to describe a little bit more and just let you watch the rest of the movie if any of you want to watch it. Mm -hmm. But So he gets sucked down into the telescope, and it turns all animated. Mm -hmm. And so he goes... Wait, it was live action up until this point? Yeah, it was live action up until this point. Oh crap, I do remember this even more. Oh gosh! <laughs> so he gets teleported down it was there, really bad. talks um, to some people, action. and there's this like sword in the stone thing, hints Arthur, but mm. and he is the only person able to lift it out of the stone after the king's so he's king daughter Arthur. tries to do it. This is just a retelling of King Arthur. <laughs> That's really sad. Look, it's weird. So he lifts it out of the stone, and then these wasp wasps attack. And they start like destroying this little town, and that's where I'm gonna leave it off. Wow, I oh. feel I feel that's <laughs> I've it, went through it, an emotional, oh just like a religious experience, right? Yeah, there. apparently critics <laughs> did not like it because it was unoriginal. And bad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're like Lion King, and that's just Shakespeare. <laughs> what? At least it had something interesting. Which one? It's just you? Hamlet. It's Hamlet. Um, I find it really funny that in all the commercial, uh, all the commercials for Blueberry, they show it as this vibrant, bright blue, but then you put it in milk and it's just gray. <laughs> and it's somewhat purple, actually. Mm. I'd say so, yeah. Uh. Hmm. This is good cereal. This is good cereal. Mm -hmm. It got, I feel like it got soggier faster than the others. Maybe. Or am I just eating more of it? I'm still in my first bowl. Uh. <laughs> I do want to say, I can't wait till the Captain Crunch episode. That's going to be in my mouth for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. graduate college it's and so still painful. have the film over my mouth. Mm. I used to That's love... That's the worst part Captain about Captain Crunch. Crunch. I used to love Captain Crunch berries. I'm like, Me too. Oh, when I was oops, old. all berries? No, just straight Captain Crunch berry. Th that, that's oops all berries. That's it's just the berries. berries. No, there's one He's where... He's talking about this new The one where it has and. the berries and the crunch. You just say Captain Crunch then. Normal Captain no. Crunch just has straight Captain Crunch pieces. No, and that's both. False. No, you're wrong. Everyone, every <laughs> Graham is right here. Normal Captain Crunch. I'm checking this. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Is this some like Mandela effect bullcrap? I yeah, think yeah, so, yeah. to be honest. What? I. Yeah, look, it's just Captain Crunch berries. Just straight. Captain Crunch berries. Has berries I, and little cereal. I've literally Oops, never all berries. I've Look, and then there's oops that. all berries. You've, you've that's all of them. You've never had normal Captain Crunch. You've never no. had normal Captain Crunch. That's sad. It's so much better than the berries. Oh, you're they right. Peanut butter crunch. The, the universal transference or whatever those people. You ever say. had peanut butter crap Captain Crunch? No, no I have not. This it is what was it looks like. The bomb. 
Pe um, before we start, we briefly mentioned like, what if there's like a skeleton one to um the. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I have been practicing with my draw. I've been practicing drawing with like different styles and stuff recently. So I decided I draw a. I also draw a new cereal. A new monster Whoa. cereal for Halloween. Best I can draw There's a Captain Crunch, Crunch maple syrup. I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, but I came up with the idea of a cinnamon a cinnamon monster cereal called Skelamon. That's really bad. That's, that's the name is really bad. The name is really bad. But I drew it. I'll have to bring down the art afterwards. Cinnabone. But it's really cute. What? Cinnabon. Easy. That's really good. I like that one. That's uh, so much better. You, or you could just make it milk flavored. <laughs> <laughs> Cream flavored. Uh, I'm trying to think of what to speak but of. It, it, I, I, I came up with, you know how all of them have like one marshmallow in it that is like unique? I was either going to have it be like a femur bone marshmallow, a skull marshmallow. Which would look really similar to the ghost pieces that are already in I it. I think that yeah. we should. Uh, or a um, what's it called? Red. No, or I mean that would be cool too. Or a coffin marshmallow. Ah. Which would fit more, I guess, with tombstone. Our a tombstone. Maybe instead of having um, the normal ghost shaped marshmallow. Or you mean we, cereal? Yeah, not mar. Yeah, cereal. We could have um, little the have the bones as the cereal. This is an ideal world. This is in an ideal world. And then have the marshmallows be skulls. That would be cool. I'd like it. Yeah. We uh, had the to marsh I think the marshmallows and skulls would be a lot better. We had to pause there because uh, <laughs> normally we save like 10 minutes in or so, so that it doesn't take an hour once we finish recording. And I checked and we were at 17. <laughs> so, so the, so his sentence might have sounded a little. Weird. If yeah. it did. Yeah, if, there's ever, oh, if there's a weird sounding sense, just assume we had to save. We had to save or we cut it out. Or cut it out happened a piece all the time it. in the school news. Because people couldn't say their lines right and our teacher, rather than getting a good line, would just, you know, save time by saying, alright, cut. We're gonna read <laughs> That's this. really lazy. The EIS, the Edgewood, I mean not Edgewood, the elementary news when we did it, we were the high... We were high quality. We were the best. I, I remember I was on the news like once. I think I was good at the news because I didn't I was, stutter. Yeah. I was just like, here it is. I Boom. was tech guy. I was like the main tech guy for like two years on the news. Yeah. Uh, at the school I went to before this one, uh, they didn't really have a news. They had announcements though. And each uh, week, one class would do announcements and they would send two people from that class down to do announcements. And the way you did it was the principal gave you a script with some blanks for your names. And he said, here's what you're saying. Take this phone, call up the school. And then you did. Mm, that's great. Um, ours I, at the elementary was, um, we did, we, we filmed it right. But it was like just a select group of kids, usually like, Whoever had like, there was like, I think it was the highest grade, like two, like the highest grade male and female in each class, and they asked them if they wanted to do it, and then they dropped, they went out to film it for a certain amount of time. So, um, yeah, and then we did it in the library. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> the news now is so sad it's... because the old news used to be like, they, the teacher would assign us extra videos, fun little videos we could make about whatever we want. We could make them be skits, PSAs, uh, little information things, whatever in the world we desire. Then uh, now, because of Corona, they have to be a bit more restricted and can only do news and sport news. Ugh. That's stupid. So, and so I know this because the junior high news or whatever that I'm talking about uploads their stuff to a YouTube channel. I mm -hmm. won't say which. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I was looking I at it. I thought their videos were unlisted and they just sent them to the teachers. No, they are 
public because mm. I can look at them on my phone. That's, That's not very bright. And I <laughs> see it and I'm just like, wait, this is only a minute long. That's the really old impressive. ones were like four minutes. Yeah, um, they were more like a variety show at that time. Like, yeah. Rather than just being straight, crappy, <laughs> like, weak news. I, I love <laughs> video production, especially the parts where we gotta make, like, a specific thing other than news. Like, uh, one time we had to make a horror movie. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, our teacher said, oh, hey, I'm gonna show this to other teachers. I was like, oh, haha, as a joke. Then the next day I go into gym. Hey, Ryan, I thought you were dead. I saw you get killed in that movie your teacher <laughs> sent me. <laughs> That's a really bad impression of our gym teacher. <laughs> it's it's not even an impression yeah. at that point. He literally went to me, hey, I thought you died, Anderson, because that's what he, he called. He called people by uh, their last name. Gym teachers do that for some <laughs> I used to be in football, and there was this one kid... Uh, and since, uh, they had, like, tape on our practice helmets with our names on them, and they only, and the coach only said the names that were their last names, I literally, for two years, had no clue what this guy's first name was and just called him by his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Never said a thing. Yeah, I didn't find out Dakota's first name until, like, I think, like, a month later. Uh, so... Kind of thing. I got G Fuel Shaker. Harrison's G Fuel Shaker. It's so loud. The lead shaker? Is that Why do you no. use a lead ball? Not lead. No, that it's just not comes lead. with the G Fuel. <laughs> oh my god. Why? You, you haven't heard? Have There's not. lead and G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> not lead. lead. I didn't mean to say lead. lead. I didn't mean metal. What about flint? <laughs> flint. <laughs> Minecraft? Minecraft? <laughs> We're 22 minutes in. Uh, yeah. And, and we're we probably should rambling be. now. Yeah, yeah. It's been pretty bad. Today's commentary has been pretty bad. Exactly. Alex, it's you're good. You're just sitting there with the hood on. It, it went from me rambling on about a movie. Up. Thumbs up. I said we should get a plan. Yeah. Last week, I, I thought I didn't like it because of how it was just one topic the entire time. And it was really long. But, like, I feel like, yeah, having one topic is a lot more better. Especially just, like what we're doing now. The, if it's a bit of a broad topic. That people, that other people can understand, like, not just like Longer us. podcasts, like an hour and a half long podcast, we'll get like four topics or so. So yeah. since we're a much shorter one, it makes sense that we would have a bit of just like one once, topic. Once we get some traction, we might switch to like hour long podcasts. Yeah, you know, that might be a bit difficult to record though. We'll see, we'll see. Depends on how much cereal we can eat. Like 45. Yeah. Okay, so you want to review now? I mean, we got like seven minutes. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Okay, so. Taste. Taste. I'm taste. thinking it's alright. Six out of ten on taste for me. Yes. Didn't really see much. Not much. Yes, taste. I like the taste better than the Count Chocula or the, uh... Frankenberry. I don't remember what he gave the, the taste for on uh, Count Chocula, but I'd say like an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, Harrison, what are your thoughts on this I taste? have to say it's a 9 out of 10, and that's just because the marshmallows in this cereal were fantastic. They had more flavor than... I, oh, the marshmallows were good, actually. Either of the I'm, other so I think I'm going to give 7.5 out of 10. To double check this, after... I mean... Bef before doing a final rating, I'm gonna bring down all three cereals, and we're gonna try them side by side on the dry, yeah. and we'll see which one. I mean, re-rate them. Alex, what are your thoughts on taste? Like I said, like in the very beginning, it's just a perfect balance of sweet and that's what I said. Um, sweet and what? <laughs> sweet and <laughs> sweet and what? But, um, I'm gonna say nine. 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 I'd say I'm gonna switch to a nine, nine out of ten. It's you guys pretty, are giving it high praise. What are you, what are you giving it? it? It's a, Perfect mass I'll give it in seven or seven point five. Maybe seven point five. So eight. it'd be about an eight point five out of ten. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight out of ten around there. Eight, uh, eight point five out of ten overall. Yeah. That, yeah. That's overall for taste. Uh, yeah, taste. Malin, what's the other thing? Texture? 
texture as well as what holds up to milk, which is in texture. Held up to milk pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. like all of them. I could still I, feel I, feel I, their crunch. I can't tell if it was the fact that I wasn't eating it as quickly that they, it, that it got soft. Three bowls. <laughs> I went through two, but, but it did feel like it got softer than I thought it would. But I'm gonna say I'd give it a six out of ten. Uh, Texture-wise. Again, the these t- cereals aren't anything special texture-wise. It's the same as like yeah. Cheerios or anything like that. I'm not into that dense cereal like this. I'm more into like a flaky or like airy mm-hmm. cereal like Frosted not, Flakes. But when it comes to texture, not got anything unique going for it. But other than those marshmallows, the, yeah, the reason better marshmallows more than more than cereals keep using that is because it works well. So I'm. Gonna give it a solid 7 out of 10, mostly because of the marshmallows. Otherwise, it might be a 6 out of 10. I'm a 6 out of 10. I'd have to say, since I, re- I really enjoyed the overall cereal eating experience of this specific cereal more <laughs> than most of the cereals re- we've reviewed. It's probably top 3, mm-hmm. top 2. Yeah. Um, I'd say so, yeah. Not so I think much. the only we've one. We've done 7 cereals. Oh, well, let's say that it's yeah. better than, the, like... The only thing I think that was <laughs> superior than this is Frosted Flakes. Agree. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say Oreo-O's. Oreo-O's and Frosted Flakes, Oreo-O's for sure. Are this is like a third. One. Yeah, Oreo-O's, then Frosted Flakes, which is just, like, old reliable. Yeah. And then, like, Blueberry. Yeah. For, for sure. me, it's Oreo-O's, Blueberry, then Frosted uh, Flakes. Mm, yeah. Alex, texture? Um... I mean, it's kind of the same as all the other ones, so I'm going to go just say seven. I, I feel like it's a lot denser than the Oreos, yeah. though. Even though the Oreos were similar to this, mm-hmm. they were a lot lighter and, like, almost fluffy. Alright, so... Before we do overall score, I'm yeah. gonna grab those boxes. So. Alright. Okay, so we got the boxes. But first, overall taste, or texture, I think it was, we were saying around 7 out of 10 or so. I said a six. six. Who, who else said a six? Seven. I'll, I'll, I'll just go with what everyone else So, said. it's a seven. Let's just do a yeah. seven. So seven over for texture. That one was texture. So, would you all like to try this tiny amount in your already blueberry milk? No, I'm not. I know. Or dry on its own. I got it. Were we just gonna compare the marshmallows? We're comparing them all. Okay. Uh, um, I just let's just do it dry. I got a new bowl. Give oh, or we can pour our this stem. I'll, I'll be the dry reviewer. Yeah. I, I'll I'll you'll be the dry reviewer. I've tasted dry cereal for years up until now, so I'm a bit of an expert on it. I was thinking of writing a book. Uh, Actually, dry cereal, the story of my life. Let's all do the dry cereal. So let's go. So. All right, is everyone got their dry bowl already? Oh, or you can even just, yeah, or reach into the box. Okay. That's what I was gonna Alec, I mean, okay, so we're starting out with count. We're starting out with count chocolate, I guess. I'm just because that was the one we did the most recent, and then we'll do, and then we'll do some Frank. All right, I got a good amount of marshmallows, good amount of cereal, nice blend of the two. All right, and I'm gonna take a bite. Not oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's, it's okay, just pour some. Oh, pour some You snooze, you Sorry. lose. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna compare them all in the bowl. And try the difference and how I. Yeah, me too. I'm putting them all together, and then after I'm done, I'll just be able to try them all as one because I've heard yeah. it's really good. Because right. they're pretty distinctive. Okay, so I have confirmed that the that the um I have confirmed that the Count Chocula is smaller than the blueberry. So that is blueberry. Okay, so make sure the, make sure the boxes are okay because I want to uh, keep them. Oh crap! Can I just? Here you go. You got yours? Uh, one second. Okay, so first we're gonna do we're gonna rate the Frankenberry, right? Because that was the first first one to come out. I mean, the first one we reviewed. So. I'll just stick my spoon into the bag. The marshmallows are all the same. Just want to let you know. So there's really not any difference. No. Actually, no. There is there is different marshmallows. So. Oh. That's more subtle. The Frankie Bar is very subtle. Let's try the... I got all of them right here, so... This is a very hard decision, but we must do it. I just had the Frankie Bar. Look! Look how tiny the Count Chocula is compared to the rest. 
why? Because Chalky has, he's tiny, he's a tiny man. Tiny. He's, compensa he's compensating for how tiny his cereal is with his giant nose. Uh, that's definitely not what I thought was you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to try, uh, so we got to try them all together and see which one we can do the best and rank them. So I tried out the Frankenberry, Harrison solving a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> uh, and if I'm being honest, it's, it's very decent. It's alright. I'd say overall, for me personally, a 7 out of 10. Nothing really stuck out about it. Okay, so. But the, the marshmallows were probably some of the best, actually. Now that I'm thinking about I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. For what? Uh, Frankenberry, I'd say right now, that's. I, I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Actually, I mean, I'd say it's a seven. Yeah, I'd say it's a six. Count Chocula. I think I'm thinking I'm giving this like a seven or something. I'd say that Frankenberry for me was like a five or a six out of ten because it was a very bland cereal. The marshmallows yeah. didn't have much flavor in the cereal. I, I feel like the marshmallows it actually just, were it just tasted kind of sweet compared to the reds. But um, I feel like that one was definitely one of the more stand out. So I'm gonna say the um I'm gonna say give the Frankenberry a seven. Yeah, but if we're ranking the cereals for me personally, so far since I've not retried blueberry, uh, number one Frankenberry, number two Count Chocula. Interesting decision. I'd have to disagree. I'd have to thing. disagree. I'd have to I, say I might be able to try it, but. I have to Count say, Chocula is maybe a bit too chocolatey. Like, it's very strong. Yeah. It has, and I feel like it's a bit too strong. You have to have an acquired taste for it. It's, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit well, yeah, nice. Uh, I, I used to think I didn't like Count Chocula at all. It's grown on me. What is your opinion on it? Okay, um, I had all three of them together and it kind of like, made me feel like that one scene in Ratatouille where he eats like the Ratatouille. Oh, you mean, uh, he eats the ratatouille? Yeah, it tastes amazing all together. I thought you were going to say that scene where the rat eats the cheese <laughs> and then the fruit, and then the cheese and the fruit, and it looks like an LCD trip. So overall, I gotta <laughs> say, I gotta say, I have to give, I have to rank Booberry at the top. It's very solid. Booberry, best. No. Booberry, yeah, then no. for me, second is Count Chocula. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, I don't like the Um, retry the chocolate, I'll see if I agree. Frankenberry, um, it's like only good with the other ones for me. And I think Frankenberry, um, it's, it's good on its own, it's just not as good as the others. Yeah, for me it's not. Like, it's unique, but that doesn't mean it's really good. It definitely is one of the more unique. unique. It's probably the most different out of the three. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to my mixed stuff and try it all. I'm gonna say something that might offend you all. But I'm going to have to say that Count Chocula and Blueberry are equally good. Okay. I, okay. It doesn't offend me because I understand <laughs> Count Chocula is very good. And if I liked chocolate more, I feel like it would, would be a number one. But I really don't like chocolate. I, I really like chocolate, so. Hey, can you give me That's probably why, but I just. Yeah. It's a good cereal. I think. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm saying Blueberry is the best. Blueberry is the best. Count Chocula second, Frankenberry. The reason why I'm saying Count Chocula is the best, for me, I think it's better than Blueberry. So I'd say Count Chocula, Blueberry, Frankenberry. Um, Count Chocula and Blueberry are very close. But the thing that just tips Count Chocula over to the number one spot is that the cereal itself, not the marshmallows, has more flavor than the cereal of both of the other two. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, that's all of our rankings. Hmm. I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm definitely moving Count Chocula up to two. Oh, I'm I'm still thinking with Blueberry first. I'm gonna give Blueberry a nine out of ten overall. I'll go eight out. It's a overall. near perfect cereal, and I do think that Frank that uh what's it called? We need to that I think Oreos. We'll talk about what we're gonna give them overall next. Yeah, like I mean next episode. It. Like re redoing it, but I think Oreo Rose is also a nine, and that ten is a frost flake. I do have one issue with Oreo O's, which is that uh, 
It does not feel good after you eat it. <laughs> uh, after we ate it, that was, uh... That was painful. Mm hmm So we might have to check for that. Actually, I think blueberry is better than Oreos. Well, that's fine. We'll uh, talk blueberry, about overall, uh, are we going nine or eight? We're going... I think nine. I eight, think eight, nine. Eight. Then we're going nine. Then we're going nine. Nine out of ten. Uh, so far, highest ranked cereal that, like, with the initial ratings. We'll fix that next week. Halloween episode. I do have one last thing to ask our audience. Would you guys like to see us try to, you know, record it, like, with a video instead of just having audio? Like, yeah. we could probably figure out a way to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, if, um, if you think that would be a good idea for season two, leave that in the comments. We, yeah, we're trying to figure out what exactly we want to do with this. We might do a, um, Halloween, um, we're, We might vlog. do a Halloween, like, vlog type thing. Once this whole v Halloween spe a real Halloween special. Once the whole pandemic thing uh, passes over, we probably will be able to do things a bit better than we are right now, uh, since we'll have where we originally recorded open up again. It will yep. be a lot easier for us to meet. But until then, we're doing what we can. Uh, have a nice day and stay crunchy. Yes. Um, we've been having <laughs> See a. See you later, crunchers. We've been having a decline in views on videos and subscribers, mm -hmm. so. If possible, please, if you like this video in any way, click the little like button and subscribe. Do it. it that's, that's the best thing you can do right now for us. See you later. Stay According to YouTube statistics, only 99% of our God <laughs> Sadly, we, don't, we are not a big enough channel to see those statistics. So thank you for watching. Thank like, you. subscribe. Stay crunchy.